Hi, this is Charmin here. In this video, I'm going to talk about Pythagorean theorem. So let's get started. So square roots, that is the Pythagoras, the square of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So you, you must remember that this uh, the theorem. So he, if you see here the diagram, so diagram shows that that is the here is a if you see here diagram that is um, AB and AC at right angles to each other. And if you see here, so AB has a three units and here is a AC that is the four units. The uh, triangle ABC is determined, the length of BC is a fixed. So the length of AB that is called the hypotenuse of the right angle triangle ABC must depend on the length of the other two sides. So what is the relation which connect the length of the three sides of the right angle triangle? The relation first proved rigorously by uh, Pythagoras, a Greek philosopher and geometrician was known in practice long before his time. It was in fact used by the ancient Egyptians for the construction of right angles. So the theorem states that the square on the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So if you see here, here is a B square equal to A, B square plus A, C square. So three square and four square all together, it will be 25. That means B, C, this side is a five unit. All right. So if you see the hypotenuse A, uh, B, C is they are five units long. So that means the triangle with a size three, four, five, you should recognize as being right angled. All right. So you must remember that this is the, uh, this is the Pythagorean theorem. So guys, that's all. Thank you very much.